this thing runs out of fuel here and we restart this race in front of this pack, that could be bad. It could just be precautionary, just making sure he's on the flat to keep the fuel in that pickup so that he doesn't have that issue. Hope that's the case. And that's interesting what the Kyle Busch Motorsports trucks are going to do. They're going to work together here. First attempt. Somebody's out of gas. Checker. Somebody's out of gas. Clay Greenfield out of fuel. As we come to the green flag for our first attempt at a green-white checker, and look at Ryan Blaney getting a shot from Eric Jones in that outside lane, trying to grab the race lead as they go off a of turn two. Dead even right now is exit turn two. How about Jeb Burton jumping to the outside? He has a little bit of help up there. That's Joey Coulter behind him. Also getting a push from Spencer Gallagher, the third truck in line in that outside lane, and now they blend back in. Burton makes a great move, picks up a couple of spots. Now he's a player. Timothy Peters hugging that preferred inside line, but a shove now coming from the outside. Ryan Blaney with help from Eric Jones as they come through the trioval. White flag will go in the air this time. No manufacturer help there. We've got a Toyota leading, a Chevrolet pushing him, a Ford running second, and a Toyota pushing him. Timothy Peters led that lap by two one-hundredths of a second. What can Jones do? Can he get the move? Can he get a hold to the back of the 29 truck of Blaney and push him ahead? Or what's Jeff Burton going to do to the outside? He's got some help from Tyler Young in the 0-2 truck. Look at Taylor Molson with the shove. He's giving Timothy Peters down low, who is now pulled away a bit. That middle lane drifting back. Here comes Jeff Burton outside. Four wide. That's Spencer Gallagher leading that wide group. Matt Crafton, our championship leader, has worked his way back into the top five. And a move being made in that outside lane. Peters pulls high to block. Now look down low. Fontaine is there. Timothy Peters stretching away. Can he hold him off? Yes, he can. Oh, Timothy oh, Peters oh, gets oh, the oh, checkers oh, here at Talladega. Oh, oh, Great job. Finish here at Talladega, like we always see. Here we go for a little overtime at Talladega. That was a great jump by Jones, but was it too good? When you get out in front like that, you don't have anybody to draft with. Peters has got a pusher. Here he comes. Spencer Gallagher giving a huge push to Timothy Peters in that outside lane. Here comes the pole setter, last year's winner, Peters, out front at Talladega. Yeah, and that outside lane just got formed so much better, so much quicker than the inside, and now Peter goes on, Peters goes on defense. Oh. And problems, Gallagher out of shape. Into John West Townley. Peters stays out front, no caution yet. Those trucks are well out of harm's way. NASCAR has decided to let these boys the out, the and that will do it. Timothy Peters going to go back to back at Talladega. This will be the only attempt. At four, but we may have to run another lap. This should be the white. That's good spotting right there. <laughs> Don't pull to pit, pit road too soon there, Timothy. And, and he also said what you talked about, Kevin. As soon as they wrecked, he said, stay in it. You don't want to give one away thinking the caution is out. Spencer Gallagher went for it. He had a chance to win. Coming to the line and getting the white flag. One to go. Justin Haley with a big push from the 51 of David Gilliland. Side-by-side, side, Haley and Gregson. Some contact with the 25 of Peters. And Gregson goes around. And we're wrecking. And they're wrecking at Talladega. And Peters was ahead when we saw that caution. Timothy Peters, a two-time winner at Talladega. And Noah Gregson sits in disappointment. Well, I think so. And Timothy Peters will get his third Talladega win.